Hello dear friends, this is Anand here and today I intend to take up a very fundamentally strong topic that's concerned with limits and continuity which is a basic topic for calculus. Now limit and continuity is something which even a layman is very familiar with. These are words which you come across wherein you say limit yourself to certain number of things so you don't cross that particular limit. And say for example, you may have, you may have, you have for example even words like at least and at most indicate limits. Say for example, you have, for example, you say you can buy at the most 100 grapes. So at the most you may have 100 grapes, you can consume 100 grapes, so you can have 100. So this is the limit. And 100 can be approached this way. So you may have 99 grapes or 98 grapes or 97 or 96. So from here you are approaching this limit of 100. So as you get closer and closer and closer, you say you are reaching the limit. Now this is regarding discrete numbers. Hence you cannot have 99.99 grapes. But parallelly if you stretch this to other situations, you can have numbers say for example x is say f of x there is a function f of x which is say 2x minus 3 so you want to find the value of this f of x as x comes closer and closer to 1 so you may start from say um, anything from minus 5 minus 4 minus 3 minus 2 0 0 0.01 0 0.0001, 0 0.01 and so on and so forth till you reach 1. For each of these various values of x, you get different values of f of x. So you will find that as x comes closer and closer to 1, f of x also reaches closer and closer to the value minus 1. So the maximum limit of this is 2 into 1, that is f of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 minus 3 that is minus 1. So as you keep on substituting these various values you will find that the value of this function comes closer and closer to minus 1. Now even in real so this is a basic idea of limits we will be taking it of course more in detail. Then you have the concept of also continuity. So imagine suppose you have a graph of a function like this which goes say like this and you go on it goes on so when you draw the graph it there is no break in this particular function so you say it is a continuous function similarly you may have a function suppose you have a function like this which goes then after some time it goes like this then you have these graphs growing here there is a break in the continuity so we say such a function is not continuous at these specific values. So we say there is a continuity. Even in daily life, suppose you have a simple string of pearls. You have a string of pearls. So when the string of pearls is joined over here, we say that it is a continuous concept. So it is a continuous string of pearls and if you start counting from here like this, you will reach this particular lock locking system. As you go from here also you reach this locking system. So you say it's a continuous string of pearls which is continuous. The same thing on the contrary if you end up opening the lock there is a break in the continuity. So in such a case you say that the string of pearls has become discontinuous. Much the same way there may be a certain break in continuity in certain functions at specific values which can be assessed. So now how do we assess the whether a particular function is continuous for a specific value that is what is going to be our exercise. So the basic idea of what you mean by limits and continuity. Now as we move further we will be taking up more specific topics. So let's go more into detail about understanding limits and continuity. Now we are going to take up these concepts today. What are limits? which we understood to some extent now, we will be taking up more in detail, then basics of 
limit? What are the ways in which, how do you understand that a particular limit exists or not? Then avoid indeterminate. This is a very, very important situation wherein certain, suppose the denominator is something, say x minus 2 and on the top you have x squared minus 4. So you want to check whether this, this is, this particular thing is indeterminate. So suppose as you take x approaches 2, what will be the value of this function? Now if you substitute directly x as 2, as we did in the previous example, you will find that the denominator becomes 0. Hence it is a indeterminate because it is a meaningless situation because if you substitute it, we get x squared minus 4, that is 2 square minus 4 upon 0, which is very weird because it's a meaningless value or rather it's a meaningless expression itself. So we need to, in such a case, we need to simplify it as x minus 2 into x plus 2 upon x minus 2 and then you now from indeterminate it has become a determinate function in such a case the same f of x limit of this as x approaches 2 is going to be 2 plus 2 which is 4. So the concept of how we can in, avoid indeterminate qualities quantities like this is what we will be checking. Then we will be talking about certain problems which are based on infinity. As the variable approaches infinity, what does the function itself, what value will the function move towards? That's what we'll be checking. Then there are specific formulae involved concerned with uh, limits. We shall take them up. Then there is a certain condition for discontinuous. As we said in the string of pearls, even the functions which you took some time back, we did about functions like this. So how can we understand whether a particular function is continuous at a particular value or what are the values for which the function may break its continuity or no and then we'll be taking up checking whether limits exist or not for a particular value for a particular function suppose you have f of x of particular thing does the limit exist as x approaches say 2 or 3 or no so we have to check whether the limit exists or no then that will be doing using certain rules Similarly, check whether a particular function is continuous or no, which means that is there any break in the continuity, is there some indeterminate quantity that is added at a particular value of the variable or no, that's what we shall be considering in this part of it. We'll be taking up more in details about these as we go little by step by step.